Hey guys, in this short tutorial I'm going to show you how to get started with Minato C, which is a platform that helps you host and join other game sessions for Minecraft servers. It enables you to avoid having to use Machi or port forwarding and is free to use. Furthermore, it has much less lag than Hamachi, which is great for gaming. Right, let's just get started. First and foremost, you have to log in with Google. Alright, once you've logged in, you can simply go ahead and click download and log in on your device. This is where you'll find your login token as well as the download link for the application. So we'll just download it over a Netfly link. And after 5 seconds, just press skip. which will start the download, right? Okay, once you've downloaded it, we can view the file. And we'll just move it to the desktop. And extract the contents. So this folder contains a char file. And if you've got Java 11 installed, which you can validate with Java dash dash or dash version. If you haven't got Java installed as well, like me, then I'll just install it with you. Alright, so let's get started with installing Java 11. First and foremost, we'll install Chocolatey, which is a package manager for Windows and is really convenient to use. We'll just copy this piece of PowerShell script, then start the PowerShell as administrator. Once you're here, you can just press the right mouse button and press enter. Alright, so once we've installed Chocolatey, we can install Java 11. And we'll even install the JDK 11. So we just type Choc install adopt open JDK 11, which will install everything we need. Here we're going to type A and press enter. Alright, once the install is finished, you can go back and close the PowerShell. If we look up the version, you can already see that it's working. So once we've minimized it, you can just double click it, don't worry if the icon doesn't show up, just double click it to open it. And we're here, in the Mine to see menu. Right, if I just open the control panel again. Then we can just grab a login token, which is only valid for 24 hours, and then paste it here. Now we are successfully logged into the desktop client, which is great. Next step will be to actually set up your Minecraft server. To download your Minecraft server, you can simply Google Minecraft server download, then pick the first link from Mojang, then download the jar file. Save it. Right, here's the Java. And I'll recommend you to put it into a folder, not directly in the downloads folder as it will generate loads of files. Alright. So you can just start it like this by double clicking it since we've installed the JDK already. which actually, the JDK actually contains the runtime. So we, we could have just installed the runtime, but 
it's as easy and you'll have more tools with it so that's actually fine now we'll have to accept the your save the file with control s and then we'll just double click to start the server again okay now the world is generating and we can also see that our server control panel has started man which is great the spawn area is just being prepared so we don't care about that yeah we also need to allow access here right to edit the server properties we need a text editor like notepad plus plus and we can simply install it with Joker. so at open the partial as an administrator like press this here okay now you can just enter Joker install notepad plus plus it will automatically install notepad plus plus free and we'll accept everything right we're done so now we can simply edit it with notepad plus plus it's very important that your server IP is either empty or equal to to what you enter here right so if it's empty then you can just leave localhost in here and if it's not then just change it to what's in here or okay now for the port if you don't use 25565 for the server then just change it in here but you know it if you do it so you can basically leave it to the defaults if you want to to finally host the server we can click on the icon to get back and we can create the game session for others to join obviously so I'll just name it my temp server you can obviously choose your own server name and then you'll be relayed to apply just skip the ad and now we're here and if we look at my not to see it just changed the background and we're now hosting so this is the token which you can send to your friend by using discord or whatsapp or something else and your friend can then use the token and I'm going to show you how so obviously your friend needs to download the app and start it and then log in which is super simple and the guy who wants to join can just leave these values they don't matter at all if you don't host the server yourself so so now you can just go to join game sessions paste the session token and go ahead which will result in the client showing connected and if you wait a few seconds up here you can just skip the ad which will in turn show you the server control panel with the connected users and then you can also connect to localhost and if you connect to localhost well, like localhost is my not to see host server of the other guy we've just been at then we can connect to the actual server 